change in the weather as part of a pro snowboarder's routine. It's important to stay focused while also avoiding cabin fever. Sage and fellow pro skier Jossie Wells and snowboarder Eric Ouellette decided to hit breakfast and to figure out the day. We're at the stove right now. It's like the sickest like local place in Mammoth. I've been coming here for like ever and some nice uh, old fashioned country cooking. That's what the sign says. Can I have the regular? And can I have my eggs poached please? And bacon. Thank you. Pretty much today we do nothing. We see a movie, you know, eat a ton of candy. Uh, definitely gonna have to run to Vons and get some candy. Other than that, just kind of wait and twiddle your thumbs. How do we meet? <laughs> I don't know. New Zealand, like on the run. Yeah. <laughs> Eric. Yeah. I'm like 14. Yeah. <laughs> just randomly at events, and then Eric. I think the first time we like hung out the most was when we got a place in New Zealand together. We stayed together for yeah like, for like a month or yeah, something. Yeah. Two months or something. That was a harsh place. Eric Willette is Sage's good friend, and they've traveled extensively together. But despite the friendship. They're also competitors. Willette is a top rider who could easily make the podium at this event. However, both riders have bigger things on their mind, and that's finishing the contest on time. All the people organizing is probably pretty stressed right now because the U.S. Open starts, because the U.S. Open's like a super long contest because it's like so many, it's an open, so like so many people are in it, but like, that means like we have to leave Saturday, so if there's any weather day, like we're done. Oh, I think they've all accepted like these bad days pretty well, you know, like they, they've stayed, pre you know, pretty positive for the most part and uh, we're here. That's all there is to it. You know, the weather's bad. No one can change that. The storm continues to put a hold on the event. High winds and snowfall are making it too dangerous to put up banners, let alone send riders flying 50 feet through the air. Today was a pretty relaxing day again. Went down to the toy store. Went to the craft store, went to a pottery place, and just like did nothing, just went to stores all day. Having uh, Eric and Sage travel together once in a while, we're all kind of pretty close together, so we kind of get together and bond. It's good for all of us to kind of like, we've become a family. You know, at first we were kind of a little separated because it was all new to everybody, but now, like, I mean, They'll call me and we'll go for dinner, we'll go to a team captain's meeting, we'll eat. We pretty much spend every night together. Without much practice heading into the competition day, the heavy schedule is starting to weigh on Sage's mind. It's been pretty crazy the last couple days, just been canceled every day. Wake up in the morning and there's like no way to even like ride the course, so. Tomorrow should be kind of hectic just cause like, I've hit the course like I think three times and I know like no one else has gotten really more runs than me, like maybe one or two more runs, but Going to a contest, you know, like haven't ridden the course, and like we got like pretty decent amount of practice tomorrow, but still, like you go into a contest and it's like qualifiers and finals are in one day, so you gotta practice your qualifier run and then you gotta practice your two final runs, so it's just kind of like a hectic day. The only consolation for Sage will be that he and everyone else have fought through the same conditions. Activities, Mother Nature has finally let up. With blue skies and warm temps, the excitement by the riders to get out and practice is palpable. The uh, course is really good. Um, it's a beautiful day, and you know we kind of been waiting for this all week with the bad weather. And I'm just psyched for the kids to have such a sweet day to do this. And they're, well, Sage, he's really pretty serious. He never like has a good time. We're trying to get him out of that. Uh, actually, <laughs> he has a great time all the time. I love the kid. Um, yeah, they're all riding really well, just having fun. With things getting underway, Sage was back in his room putting the finishing touches on both his gear and his focus. You always gotta be kind of prepared in the morning and like the, the night of that like, hey, I could compete tomorrow. Like, even though the weather might say there's gonna be a tornado, you know, like, you gotta be prepared at least. Then you gotta be like ready for it, which is just, like so hard to like mentally do too, because you're like so used to just like waking up, looking outside, and like, we're not doing anything today. You get so accustomed to that, and, like when it does go down, you're like, uh oh, it's sunny, like 
Gotta get ready to go do like a bunch of tricks and I mean you gotta be mentally ready and physically which is like I think that's the hardest part is being like mentally ready for it. Like a lot of pro athletes with superstitions, Sage never rides without his signature gloves. I mean come on. Come on. Who wouldn't want to rock Sesame Street gloves? They're the sleeveless gloves in the game. I always got Ernie and Bert with me, you know, because I'm never alone riding anymore. I always got my boys, Ernie and Bert. Stoked it's finally sunny. The last couple of days sucked, and then I don't know how today is so good. It's like super warm, sunny, beautiful day. Gonna get some practice in right now, and then uh, send her. The men will be uh, starting with one practice warm up run, and then coming back to the top, and then they'll have two qualifying runs. Just under his belt, and a loose vibe rocking backstage. Sage was ready for his first qualifying run. Regular Goofy. 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 Going switch. Goof, goof. All right, so now it's what? Sage's I turn now? Sage yes. Kostenberg. Here comes Sage Kostenberg. Our Paul Mitchell progression session qualifiers underway. And we are live. Again, we're taking top 16, so these guys' main goal is just to make that top 16 to go to today's final. Stop. Switch back seven. Very difficult trick. We just saw a switch back side seven into a cab nine. There's the front side seven from Sage Kostenberg coming into the last jump. And there's a solid back side seven to finish things out from Sage Kostenberg. The 73.4 was good enough to get into the final, but Sage would want to up his score and his confidence for the finals. Qualifier started, and I landed my first run, and I was like, trying not to do the, like, the best run of qualifiers, you know, because I didn't want to, it ended like 5 today or something, like 5 p.m., so I didn't want to drop last or anything, so I was trying to, like, middle of the pack, I was trying to plan out my run pretty good. And I'm pretty relaxed, hanging, gonna clean up my next run and throw another spin in there. Sage Kotzenberg coming down the mountain. Yeah, there you saw the 180, 180 out. Sage Kotzenberg out of Park City, Utah, 18 years old. You know that he's got the skills to make it happen. There's 50-50, 360 out on the mailbox as we are calling that third jib feature. And once again, we are in our men's second qualifying heat. We're just wrapping that up right now. And then we're gonna move on to our finals here for the Paul Mitchell progression session right here at Mammoth Mountain this afternoon. Coming into the last jump. He's already of our top six moving on to the final. And there's a solid backside seven to finish things out from Sage Kostenberg. 52 81.0. Comfortably qualifying for the finals, Sage is in good company as top shredders oh, Chaz Gilder. All right, we're. Eric Willett. And Benji Farrell are among some of the top riders also making the top 16. 